the hottest names in music, and the AMA's big announcement. 38 days to go. This is AMA's On Demand. This is AMA's Fashion. Early start for us yesterday at the AMA press conference while we count down the days to the 40th anniversary of the AMA's. So great to see you, Kimberly. And you too. I'm Lance Bass. And I'm Kimberly Cole. Okay, so Lance, what did you dig most about yesterday? Hanging out with your celebrity friends, making the big announcement, or just waking up super early to get there on time? Well, I'm not a morning person, but I'd have to say a little bit of everything. Hey guys, it's a very exciting day here in downtown LA. Press from around the world is lining up. In just a few minutes, our red carpet hosts and Christina Aguilera are gonna take this stage and announce this year's AMA nominations. Coke Red Carpet is all about the fans. It's iconic award show. <laughs> Congratulations to all of the nominees. The nominees have just been announced and Nicki Minaj and Rihanna lead the pack with four nominations each. Now it's time for you to get online and vote for your favorite artists. A big shout out to our friends in Nokia for hooking us up big time yesterday at the announcement. That's right, Lance. Now, every time you guys see our more button, make sure to click it to get your very own AMA's OD hookup. Now, which AMA nominee spent 21 weeks in the Billboard Top 10 this year, went from married to single, and then to in a relationship, and still had time to put out a 3D movie? Well, it can only be one colorful girl, Katy Perry. It's time for KP Timeline. 2012 started off pretty rough for Katy Perry. She was right in the middle of her public divorce from Russell Brand. Tweets and posts in support of Katy flooded the web and she responded with this tweet on January 7th. I'm so grateful for the love and support I've had from people around the world. January 20th, Katy made it clear she was cutting all ties when she unfollowed Russell on Twitter. But Katy Cat bounced back big time with Katy Perry, part of me 3D. Thanks for making it a complete KP3D weekend. Wide Awake is number one. Seems like she was still struggling with her personal life though when she posted this on August 14th. Oh my heart. Things were looking up for the California girl when she tweeted August 20th, starting my first cooking class. Oh my God, I'm learning to be a human. Finally, September 14th, a message of hope. I can feel the phoenix rising. Now Lance, do you think this has anything to do with the rumors that she's been dating John Mayer? Well, whatever it is, Katie is gonna be just fine. L-O-V-E-K-P, <laughs> nice timeline. If you wanna keep up with Katie, check her out at facebook.com slash Katy Perry and follow her on Twitter at Katy Perry. From unforgettable performances to outrageous moments, it could only be the AMAs. Let's take a look. Here's the winner. Green Day, Los Angeles, how you doing? Fergie. Will I am, can you believe it? Mariah Carey. Thank you so much for the warmth and the love. I have something very, very special for you. I'm gonna try to keep it short, they got the countdown on the, on the prompt. Put your hands together for Justin Bieber! I have to thank uh, all the fans, my mother. We love you guys, thank you very much. My wife and my daughter. You and you and. And all the haters. Everybody who voted on the internet for us, all of you guys. We love you. Wow, Lance, you look so young. And of course, I'm loving those frosted tips. And sadly, Kimberly, I still own those pants. Okay, I dare you to wear them next week. <laughs> Anyways, it's time for Caption This. Each week, we challenge you guys to caption iconic photos from the AMAs in your own words. I love this game. Hit me. All right, so here's Selena Gomez from last year. Oh, I don't know. It could be anything. Corbin Kanichi posted a good one on our Facebook page. My thumbs are no longer missing. Nice one, Corbin. Okay, now Lance, I've got one for you. All right. How about this one from last year's finale performance? Wow, okay. I'm sexy and Will I Am knows it. That's pretty good, but the best caption comes from Mary Kaylin Weidman from Indiana. Way to go, Mary. It's funnier than Lance. Keep checking facebook.com slash AMAs where we throw down a new caption challenge every Tuesday. Now, as a token of our appreciation, we've taken the liberty of creating a special thank you from your beloved AMA superstars. We call it Thank You Fans Mashup. Fans. Fans. Yeah, fans. I only want to thank, thank the fans. The fans. The fans. The fan, fan, fans. All you beautiful, beautiful fans. Yeah, fans. 
My fans are amazing. My fans are amazing. Fans, 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 fans love you. So they fan, fan, fans. The, my fans. Loyal, loyal fans. Now, here's Meg Turney. Meg? Oh, Lance. I had your poster in my bedroom when I was a little girl. Okay, enough. All right. We asked you guys if you could sit next to anyone at the AMAs, who would you sit next to? 7% said Lady Gaga. 13% said Katy Perry would be your ideal seatmate. And a whopping 14% of you said Latin artist Anahi. She seems pretty nice. She probably wouldn't hog your armrest. Next, we asked you to confess, what's your guilty pleasure song? Number three was Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. Number two, What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. And the number one guilty pleasure song for AMA fans, Miley Cyrus's Morning Sun. And finally, who's your biggest AMA crush? 7% of you said Lady Gaga. 10% said you only had eyes for Justin Bieber. But the most sought after celeb at the AMAs was Harajuku Barbie herself, Nicki Minaj, with 12% of the vote. I chose Lance. Now we asked you guys to let it all out, and boy did you. Feel the love in this week's fan confession. What's up? My name is Mallory and I am crazy, like crazy, 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 and say like, ah, about Jay-Z. Like if I could meet Jay-Z, I would literally put on a 59 fitted, some Tim's, and I would walk to New York from Chicago. I am nuts about Jay-Z. We hear you, Mallory. We put an email address in the description below so you can keep those fan confessions coming. We'll feature one every show. Stay connected with us at facebook.com slash AMAs and on Twitter at the AMAs. Thanks, Meg. And guys, don't forget to check out our blogs at amas365.com. Now it's time for 30 Second Fashion, Rihanna Edition. Rihanna can pull off almost anything, casual but fashionable at the same time. Lace layered vintage, I love her in this Zach Posen dress. Yes, and she's unbelievably stunning. Her stage costumes are inspiring, and I love it when she goes back to her island roots with all those colors. Okay, you know what? How about I'll take her legs and you can have her career. Uh, Kimberly, you've got a deal. <laughs> Think you know your AMAs? It's time to see if you're for real. For real, y'all. Did Kathy Griffin accuse Clay Aiken of being her baby daddy at the 2004 AMAs? I took a pregnancy test and the stick turned blue! So for real. Four years later, Clay did settle down with a baby, but in the case of Baby Aiken, Kathy, you are not the mother. Okay, here's one. Grand Theft AMA. Missy Elliott's American Music Award was stolen from her after the show in 2003. What happened to you? Why were you late? Somebody stole my limo. But I'm here now, I thank y'all. Not for real. But her limo was. To this day, no one knows how she made it to the AMAs. Now we posted the final question to our AMA Facebook page, but only Meg Turney knows the answer. Thanks Lance. We asked you guys at last year's AMAs, did actor David Hasselhoff streak across the stage in his underwear during LMFAO's big performance? 75% of you said not for real and you were wrong. The Hoff stripped to his skivvies and joined pal Sky Blue and Red Foo on stage for Sexy and I Know It. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for more AMAs On Demand. Meg, take it away. Wiz Silva said, we want Shakira in the American Music Awards 2012. Elmer Eduardo Escudero Rodriguez says, Green Day is extraordinary. At Arce Believer says, at Justin Bieber, Be Alright has seriously helped me so much in the past few days without knowing it, so thank you. Addison Euler Bonds posted, best video nowadays is Chris Brown's Don't Wake Me Up. Azari Rajakon writes, I hope to follow up your powerful journey one day, maybe even work with you. Hashtag I love you Beyonce. At Ronan Farrow says, I accidentally listened to the new Taylor Swift song 35 times. I didn't mean to, don't worry about it. Amanda Whitbeck says, I love Dark Side. All of Kelly Clarkson's songs are so great, she has the best voice in pop music. I can't believe it's already been 10 years. And Mr. Salazar posted, awesome, love no doubt, Gwen Stefani's gorgeous, Stacey Lee Lewis, pink, all I can say is wow, thank you for your new album, The Truth About Love, it's awesome. Amy Wessler, hearts, 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 Christina, you're inspirational, sensational, and one hot mama. Thanks for always being you, and can't wait to hear your next masterpiece. Chris Fields says, Queen Rihanna's very talented and awesome, and Al City said, listening to at Carly Rae Jepsen, because she's the greatest. Okay. Very <sighs> Don't forget to watch the American Music Awards. On ABC, November 18th. 8, 7 Central.